We're fortunate to have Brad Rabuchin here with us for a demonstration of Gravity Guitar Picks. Brad's playing credits include, among others, Bonnie Raitt, Roy Hargrove, Pat Martino, Al Cooper, Stevie Wonder, Buddy Miles, David Fathead Newman, Willie Nelson, and Tom Jones. Brad was also Ray Charles' guitarist for five years, fronts his own band, and has released two solo albums. Brad, you've got some music history under your belt, not to mention major playing experience. Tell us what's so important about a guitar pick. Well, um, it, it's really where the sound starts, okay? You know, you know, because obviously you're striking the string, and and then the whole point of the you know pickups on the guitar is that's just amplifying, or or the sound hole on acoustic guitar that's just amplifying the sound that you're creating, and and so and so your left hand is obviously choosing what those notes are, but but your right hand is is what's making that sound. You know, it's going to be bright, it's going to be loud, it's going to be light, it's going to be dark, um, and and so picks is a crucial element in that whole the whole thing. You know. Because um, and and so you know throughout my my playing career you know I've always you know I've been always you know trying out different picks and stuff looking for you know uh, you know the right picks you know and, and recently uh, I found gravity picks and I'm pretty excited about um, you know the the sound and how they feel and everything Great. so awesome do uh, you want to try out some picks then sure yeah so let's why don't we try the classic classic. So, so, and, and so these are acrylic picks, and they're um, hand finished, which is nice because because a, a crucial point of the of the of the sound of a pick is going to be what well, one the material and how fat it is, but also um, what the point is like, you know, and and to have a, having a nice smooth point point is going to be important. And then the classic has sort of like the there's somewhat a point to it, but it's not totally sharp, but just like a a standard like Fender pick or something you might find. You know, but but it has a nice, you know, a nice attack to it, you know, and a nice clarity, you know. So um, there you have it. And, and, and by the way, uh, you know, I'm just playing, you know, these are medium output pickups, um, just chord into an amp. I've got a, an overdrive pedal and, and a vine pedal and that's it. So, so you're really hearing the sound of the pick. There's no compression or crazy effects or... Anyway, so... Sounds pretty great to me. Thank you. Uh, which one do you want to try All right, next? let's try the sun Sunrise. Now. Sunrise. So, so, so this sunrise is, and again, I'm, I, and I'm using um, these come in different sizes. So this is a big mini. So there's one size smaller, and then there's um, a bigger size as well. And they and they come from uh, one millimeter to six millimeters, various sizes. Um, this is a one and a half, you know, which is which feels pretty good to me. Um, kind of a, and, and now this has a has more of a point. be good for like if I want a lot of attack. Okay, well, do you happen to have a razor on you? I believe I do. Let me check okay. my stash. Okay, yeah, I'm just thinking it's time there for There it is. Okay, um, you know, and it's important, you know, one thing I'm realizing, you know, I really, in the future, I'm always going to have a pick roadie on all my gigs, you know, so come see me, you know, hopefully Cat will be available. Uh, because, because you never know when you need to switch a pick, you know. But anyway, so, so this, is, this, this is a razor. And and this is now this is the small size, the mini, and this is a two, so it's a little bit fatter, and um, and this, you know, you know, and obviously these picks we can play different styles, but all of them, but but I'm going to go for like a little bit of overdrive for this one, 
um, because I think this pick really works well. It has, has a pretty good point and it's um, small. <laughs> Before I had these picks, my sound was awful. <laughs> no. Uh, anyway, so uh, so yeah. So let's let's try to see what the jazz guitar sounds like. Jazz let's guitar. Let's do that. Fix it. There you are. Okay. The volume. Okay. And so, do you have an axis? I do. Okay. This guy right here. Okay, and, and now so all these picks, you know, they're acrylic, right? Um, and and they're, um, this is a, like I said, they're hand finished, and this one is a very, has a very um, rounded point, you know, you know so, so now it sort of takes a cool for like a jazz type sound, it's taking the, it takes the attack off. Yes, you can. Okay, okay, and, and now this is a, a new pick that's going to be out, um, you know, in all these di all the different sizes, basically. Um, it's a, a different material that's virtually indestructible. It'll probably live longer than you will. Um, you know, so like, you know, if I'm buried with this, probably, you know, thousands of years from now, they'll find the pick and, and that'll be all that's left of me. So, so um, but anyways, and, and what's, I'm pretty excited about these picks because it, it, it's, um, it has like a nice warm sound. You can hear this, this one also has a little bit more of a point, which actually, frankly, I'm more comfortable with because it's giving me a little bit more. demonstration of gravity guitar picks today. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it and go on to try the picks if you haven't already. You can find them in better music stores or on our website. Thanks for stopping by guys. Have a great one.